everybody, Gina DeLuca here. All right, today we're gonna to be doing something a little different. We're gonna be talking about fluid art economics. So how to save money while you're pouring. It does not have to break the bank, but also uh, we're gonna discuss how to find out how much paint you need for your canvas. And we're gonna figure out, are you really saving money when you're buying $1 craft paint. We're gonna get into that. If you dislike methylating as much as I do, this is the video for you. I've done all the work. I've crunched the numbers. It smelled like bacon in the house while I was doing it. Every time I do math, it smells like bacon. But first, <laughs> Let's talk about the Fluid Art Inspiration Cards. I just want to show these to you quickly. Uh, in the box, there are 52 cards. Eight of them are color palette cards like such. And you don't have to use all of the colors in the palette. You could just pick three or pick two and add black. Basically, just to give you some creative ideas when you're feeling a little bit of a dry spell. And there's also, so there's eight of the color palette cards and there are 42 technique cards, each card with its own color palette. So you can mix and match, you can pick a technique and pick a color off the cards or pick this technique and then go, oh, I'll do that palette. Basically, just to get the creative juices flowing and since most of the world is gonna be on quarantine for the next couple weeks, it might be a good idea to have some fun things to do in the past time. All right, so the first thing we need to figure out is how much paint do we need on our canvas? So the formula that I use that works very well for me is length times width will give you your square inches. You divide that number, you divide your square inches by 28, and then that will give you how many ounces you need. So if we're going to be figuring out the uh, math for a 16 by 20 today. So you multiply 16 by 20, and that gives you a square inch of 320. Now we'll divide that by 28, and we come up with 11.42 ounces which we will just make into 12, and that is the magic number we're gonna be working with today. Okay, craft paint. Let's just start with the cost of the products first, and then we will get into which is gonna be the most economical. So craft paint, you can find craft paint for about a dollar. Anything that's less than a dollar, I would be very wary of. Uh, now mind you, there are different, um, qualities of craft paint. Some of the craft paints, like when you get into the flash paints, they're going to be more expensive. That's a specialty paint. That's not really an economy paint. You know, a lot of people use a craft paint because they're trying to save money because they look at a tube of Liquitex Basics. Uh, you know, that's um, five bucks for four ounces and, and you say that's too expensive. We'll see. We'll see if it's too expensive. Craft paint. Let's just say that you find something for a dollar. You get something that's on sale. So one dollar for two ounces. And that's going to equal... 50 cents an ounce. Let's do Artist Loft. 
So these are the Artist Loft, uh, like the medium body, the stuff that's just in the tube, this stuff right here. Um, not the heavy body. Uh, these are basically Michael's prices that I'm using. Uh, you can find different deals online. Sometimes you can find a good deal on Amazon. But I know a lot of people here in the U.S. are getting their supplies from Michael's or places that have similar pricing. Like Joann's or Hobby Lobby. So this is Artist Loft brand. This is Michael's house brand. But most of the places that you will be going, if you go to a craft store, will have their own house brand and it'll probably be around the same price. Okay, so Artist Loft for a four ounce tube. It's uh, the list price, the list price is $4.49. For four ounces. That equals one twelve an ounce. Now, if you're buying list price, you can just stop watching this video because you're not trying to save money. Don't ever pay list price for anything. <laughs> Seriously. You can always find a deal. There's always coupons. There's always a deal. Unless you are in dire straits and you have a commission that needs to be done and you just have to have that thing, do not pay list price because you don't have to. Okay, that's the frugal in me and I can't help it. I'm cheap. Okay, so what I do is I wait until they have a sale and I stock up. When they have their buy one, get one free, I go nuts. Now the uh, eight ounce is eight forty nine. Actually, it's eight point five ounces, and that will come to one dollar per ounce. But we're not shopping list price. We are going to buy the buy one get one free or the 50 cent or 50 percent off so at 50 percent discount the numbers we're looking at are 225 for four ounces and that equals 56 cents an ounce the eight and a half ounce winds up being 425 And that comes out to, oh, uh, where'd you go? Yes. 50 cents an ounce. The same as the craft paint. So per ounce, this is the same. But the craft paint, you can only use a one to one ratio. With artist loft paint or like a tube paint, you can really stretch it out a lot further. Uh, flow trawl, let me just add, because we're gonna need this. I'll put this over here somewhere. Flow trawl. This is what I use as my pouring medium often because I get really cool results with it. Uh, for a gallon of flow trawl, you can find a gallon for $15. I'm sorry, people in Australia. I know that's just like rubbing it in. Uh, but if you go to Home Depot or Lowe's, you can find it somewhere between $13 and $15. And for 128 ounces, that comes out to $0.11 cents an ounce. Not, not too bad, right, when you think about it that way. So a craft paint at one to one, you're gonna need, if we're trying to get to 12, you're gonna need six ounces 
of paint and six ounces of Floetrol. That's going to be, for six ounces of paint at 50 cents an ounce, $3. And this is going to be, at 11 cents an ounce, 33 cents. So for your craft paint for a 16 by 20 painting, you are looking at $3.33. So this is the number we're trying to beat, right? Because this is what people think is economical. Artist Loft. I usually do one uh, part paint to two parts Floetrol, and then I thin that with my 90% water, 10% Floetrol mixture. Um, but you can stretch it out more than that. Uh, lots of people do three parts Floetrol. Sarah Mack does six parts. So let's just see with the one part paint to two parts Floetrol, and generally speaking, I would be adding one part water, give or take. It depends on what technique I'm doing. If I'm doing a straight pour, I might add more water. But generally speaking, this will give you a pouring consistency of around three, if you saw my consistency video. So, We have a one, a two, and a one. We will need three ounces of paint, six ounces of Floetrol, and three ounces of water. Now, mind you, you're going to be mixing up different colors, you know, so you're going to have to figure this out when you break it down even more, uh, how you're going to want that done. But this is just crunching the numbers. So three ounces of paint at our wonderful rate of 50 cents is going to be $1.50. And then six ounces of Floetrol is going to be 66 cents. And that brings our grand total to dollars and 16 cents. Much better than that. Let's just for giggles do a one to three. So let's say we do one part Floetrol, I mean one part paint to three parts Floetrol, one part water. I had to do the math a little differently because you can't make five equal 12. So what I did was figured it out per ounce. So that would be 50 cents per ounce. Three parts Floetrol is going to be 33 cents. That's going to come out to 88 cents. We have five parts here. So let's just figure these are ounces. One ounce, three ounce, one ounce. That's five ounces. One ounce is 50 cents. One ounce of paint is 50 cents. Three ounces of Floetrol is 33 cents. That comes out to 88 cents. So we're going to divide this by five to figure out how much it is per ounce. And we get 0.176 per ounce. Now, if we multiply that by 12, because we need 12 ounces, we end up with $2.00. And 11 cents. So more than a dollar cheaper than the craft paint. Now, here's another thing that I noticed while doing this math that 
<laughs> I can't believe I never noticed before. Uh, let's talk about Liquitex. Liquitex Basics. So in the two paint that is just like uh, the Artist Loft, the two paint right here. For the four ounce size, Liquitex Basics. For the four ounce size, at uh, the list price, ew, we have $4.99 for four ounces. We have $10.99 for eight and a half ounces. If you do the math on that, $4.99 divided by four equals 125 nx. 10.99 divided by 8.5 is, are you ready for this? 129 an ounce. What? It's more expensive to buy the bigger tubes of Liquitex. Now, when you get into the bigger jars like this, then it gets cheaper again, but what kind of racket is that? I mean, you go in thinking that you're saving money by buying the bigger size, and lo and behold, it's actually more expensive per ounce. So, don't buy the bigger bottles. Unless you want to go to the jar. That blew my mind. I can't believe that. All right, so... We're not paying list price. No, we are not. We're gonna be getting this during their buy one, get one, or using a 50% off coupon. And we are going to pay for the four ounce, for four ounces, we are gonna pay $2.25. Which comes out to 62 cents per ounce. And we're going to be paying, where did you go? 10, I'm oh, sorry, 549. I did that backwards, my bad. 549 for the eight and a half ounce. And that is going to come out to. 65 cents an ounce. Again, what? <laughs> so that that is something to really uh, think about. As far as the ratios go, this would be about the same as uh, the artist loft. It's the um, you know the, the medium body paint okay so if we're going to figure out the math on this one obviously we're going to pick this price because that's just better so we're going to do uh one the one to one ratio at 62 cents an ounce we need three ounces and that is going to come to 186. We need six ounces of the Floetrol. That is 66 cents. And that comes to a grand total of 252. So not cheaper than Artist Loft, but cheaper than craft paint. So you could actually be getting the Liquitex Basics 
and it would be costing less than using craft paint. So uh, you're not saving money. You're not saving money here. It is actually more economical to use tube paint and to mix it. Now, that is not to say that um, you should never use craft paints. Sometimes they do something that other paints don't do. Um, the Extreme Sheen Metallics sell wonderfully in a straight pour. Uh, a lot of the Americana line sells really nicely in a straight pour uh, because they're matte. So that's not to say you want to just throw them all away. But in general, if you're trying to paint and you're trying to save money and you're just wanting to experiment and not spend too much, then Artist Loft or one of the house brands is probably going to be the least expensive way to go. But knowing that you could be using Liquitex Basics for that much cheaper than craft paint, A, you know, why would you want to spend more if you don't have to? Knowing that you can do a 16 by 20 for $2.11 on paint, then the rest of what you're going to be paying for is your canvas. And then you can decide how, how much do you want to spend on a canvas. If you're just practicing, you can get those Michaels big packs, the, um, the bulk packs, for, I, I think it comes out to $2. If you get them when they're on sale, never pay full price. You get them when they're on sale, you can get these for, uh, I think it'd be like six, five or six in a pack, and you can get it for $10. You know, so maybe somewhere around $2 a piece. You can get them cheaper than that too when they have their big sales. So, for, you know, figure $2, and that, you're $4.11 and you have a painting. Um, obviously, if you're, if you're wanting to sell it for big bucks, you're probably going to want to spring on nicer canvases, but in the meantime, while you're experimenting and you're learning and you're cooped up in the house, it's protecting yourself from the coronavirus, here is how you can save some money and still do what you love. And I hope that this was useful to you. I hope it wasn't too painful. I have a headache now because I'm staring at all these numbers. But <laughs> uh, also probably from that Sharpie. Um, but I, I hope that this was uh, of, you, of use to you. And if, if it was, please share it so other people can save money too. Um, like and share and subscribe. All that good stuff. Click the bell so you get notified when I have new posts, new videos up. Uh, do check out the description box below for links to my Fluid Art Inspiration cards, which you can find on my website, GinaDeLuca.net. And did I just do that upside down? <laughs> Not sure. Uh, yes, so GinaDeLuca.net and... My Amazon store where you can find lots of the stuff that I use in my videos. Uh, you can find the link in my description box. Anything that you purchase, if you enter through that link, I make a small percentage of at no, uh, no additional cost to you. Uh, my website, GinaDeLuca.net, where you can find my art and music for sale. Also the fluid art inspiration cards. And join us on Facebook at... Go make some art, post your masterpieces, ask your questions, get some inspiration. Uh, is that it? I think that's it. Um, I don't know, y'all. Be safe out there. Wash your hands. And, you know, keep that good social distancing. Something I saw today 
It was a picture of someone vaping. And how far that vape cloud went. And it was just like, so that's how far I need to be away from people. <laughs> uh, gigs getting canceled left and right. You know, it's going to get tough. It's going to get tight. Hopefully this will help you save some money while you entertain yourself. And yeah, that's it. Y'all be safe. Wash your hands. Now go make some art.